Welcome to my smart side. I will be showing you some proof that you can't divide zero by zero. This video is about math. Okay, uh, these rocks are variables, which are unknown numbers, but they can represent any number. The stick here will be a fraction bar, or dividing. <laughs> because it is a nice day today, I am recording outside. Okay, first, there's a property that says you can multiply one number by another number to... I mean, I don't have an equal sign. Um... Fingers are in the way. I want you to use two hands. Maybe I should have broken off a bigger part of the stick than this much. Ah, okay. Equals. Anyway, by the way, two numbers right next to each other like this, or two variables or something, means multiplying. It's like that many of that. Now if I multiply two numbers together to get another number, then I can take this number, divide it by this number to get the first number. Okay. That's right. Because let's say this is three. That kind of looks like a triangle. Three sides, three points. Try means three. Ah, uh, three things about a triangle that match up with three. Uh, and let's just pick another number. Here, you give me a number. Okay. Say any number out loud. 500 billion? <laughs> no, I don't have a calculator with me and I'm not going inside that house to get one. No, go smaller. A smaller number? Negative 500 billion? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Uh, I decided to add in a little humor so it's not boring. Even the music in the background can't make this video ent entirely not boring. Pick a number with a small absolute value. By the way, it's a distance from zero. Zero or a positive number, what the number is, is the absolute value. But for a negative number, we just remove the negative sign for the absolute value. Okay, five. Okay, that's easy. 3 times 5, so that means this is 15, and then I can take 15 divided by 5, that does equal 3. Okay, let's take, let's say this is 0, it kind of looks like 0, and that can still be 3. 3 times 0 equals 0. Or, yeah, that works. 3 times 0 equals 0. And for any two numbers I divide in the same order, it should always be the same. Every time I divide 15 by 5, I should always get 3. Okay, 3 times 0 equals 0. Then I can do the trick. 0 divided by 0 should go back to equal 3. So every time I take 0 divided by 0, it equals 3. Okay, so I've concluded 0 divided by 0 is 3. 
so it is possible. To divide zero by zero, you'll get three. Let's try that again. Let's change this to another number. This is still zero. Three is this. So we can change it to... Okay, yes, we can use the 500 billion this time. Okay, 500 billion times three. Wait a minute, sorry, I'm confused. That one had the change and this was zero. Five billion, or 500 billion, whatever. Times three is what I didn't want to do. Anyway. Uh, okay, I got what I was trying to say. 500 billion times zero equals zero. So, so that means zero divided by zero is 500 billion. <laughs> Wait a minute. If I take the two numbers, they can be the same or different, and I divide them in the same order, I always get the same number. Earlier, when I took zero divided by zero, it was three, but now, zero divided by zero is 500 billion. So, which one is it? Well, I know some mathematical... Uh, like, graphs and stuff. What's well, the function? It's only one. Answer, but... Some other mathematical stuff can have two answers. But division is an operator and always has the same answer. Square roots have just have can have two answers. Like the square root of nine can be three or negative three, but it's not really like an operator the same way division is. So that's why you can't divide zero by zero. But what about other numbers? Well, let's go back to... Uh, excuse me. My nose has been stuffy lately. Anyway. I'll take two numbers, multiply them together to get another number. Take that other number, to divide by the second number, and you'll get the first answer. That works. Uh, let's... Okay, let's start from here. This is zero. If this number equals this number divided by this number, which case is zero. Let's say the top number is five. Five divided by zero equals this number. Then we can take this number times zero equals five. What is this number? What number can you multiply to zero to get five? Well, that's impossible. Every number, every number, any number multiplied by zero is always going to be zero. So, this can be any number, but it will never work. Unless this is zero, then, then this could be any number times zero equals zero. But I already proved you can't divide by zero, so that doesn't work. And I've also thought of another paradox. Well, not another paradox, because I haven't already discussed one paradox. But anyway, a paradox. A number divided by zero. Okay, this is still zero. Equals... It's actually not a number, because you can't divide by zero, so you can't give a number, so it's not a number, or many programming languages, or people just say N-A-N, capital N, lowercase a, capital N, that stands for not a number, but another paradox, let's say that's five again. 5 divided by 0 is not a number. It could be any number. 
here divided by zero is not a number. Then we can take, let's just say five. Not a number times zero equals five, but that doesn't work. Multiplying by zero is zero, and zero is not five. Or, since it's multiplying by not a number, then not a number times anything is also not a number, and five is a number. So, dividing by zero isn't not a number either. So, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, hello, little aunt. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. If you learned something new, be sure to click the like button. And if you'd like to learn more things, be sure to click the subscribe button. And you will learn something new from me next time. was hail and it's the same day it started out in the morning a little bit rainy and then it got nice and warm later I decided to make uh, my smart side video about the division proof which you just watched unless you didn't watch it and you just got to this part. It might be a combination of rain and hail. So, the day it started out a little bit rainy, and then it got better, and then warmer, it dried. And now, it got darker, it started to getting dark quickly. And then came rain, and came hail with it. So, I am glad I spent time outside, like I did. Huh. Come on! Come here! What is it, Ryan? I'm recording. I heard your voice. I've got a granddaddy and he's get up there and take care of that gutter, and I don't know why you don't do it. A gutter fell? Well, what in the world are you talking about? Well, all you have to do is come here and look. Get up and look. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think. Well, I must have got something in there. It shouldn't be, but there must be something out in the. Well, I think it's flying over the gutter. That's what's happening. I hope your corner here don't get flooded. No, ain't gonna hurt a thing in the corner. Yeah, you got water running like crazy out All there. All right, well, we got it running over in the sunroom, too. Pretty better. Alright, let's Bubbles! Yeah.